What's going on, you guys? Uncle Jesse here. I'm filming this right now, and I'm extremely frustrated. Uh, I don't normally make these kind of videos. I don't like making these kind of videos, but I have to call it out because if I'm running into this, there's bound to be other people. And in fact, I know there is because I've already posted about it over on Facebook and Twitter about this frustration I've had today with Cheetubox and the latest official version, which is 165. I think this is just a flat out broken and it was really a, a nuisance that it would continually was crashing on me. But after this bug that I just ran into today where it's now deleted, it's basically wiped out about half of my profiles within Cheetubox, which is insanely frustrating. So I've lost all my support settings. I've lost all of the uh, printer settings. So now if I actually want to use any of those profiles, I can't. I have to reload the profile. If I try to roll back to a previous version of Cheetubox on my computer, I'm not sure how technically it's storing these profiles, but it's jacked up on those previous versions as well. I have lost so much time today dealing with this software and trying to get some prints up and running. It's insanely frustrating. The software, and tell me, I, 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 to be honest, I love, I absolutely love Cheetubox and I love, I love the software. I think it's easy to use. It's free. So, I mean, I can't complain that much. However, please do not upgrade to this version. I, I see that they have a beta version out there. I've already seen complaints. Don't even bother going to that because it's still super buggy. They, in this version, put out some new features that make it much more easy to uh, add uh, your holes after you've hollowed or it's improved the actual tree support structures that will occur if you're doing auto supports, which is great. However, it's just, it's so insanely buggy. I load a file, I hollow it. I go to add a hole, crash. Okay, let me try that again. I load up the file, I hollow it. Okay, I can add some holes this time. This is great. Let me make sure to save my file. Okay, that's great, I saved the file. Now let me go to start adding supports. Auto support, crash. Okay, let me load back up my file. Auto support, okay, it loaded my supports. Now let me start editing my sort crash. It's, it's one thing after another, and I was able to deal with it, I was able to work through it, but having my profiles deleted is just, oh my god, I can't, I can't deal with it. I just can't deal with it. So I'm uninstalling the 165 version. I'm rolling back to, I think it's 150. Uh, I'll be working with that from now on until there's a much more stable version. The, the new features in version, this latest version, do not outweigh the uh you know the issues that i'm running into with it so I'll, I'll i'll gladly roll back to this some other alternatives that are out there that i have not tried that i will more than likely now be trying out thanks to this and letting you guys know what my thoughts are on those uh, one is lychee it's another software that's a, a slicer i believe it's an actual paid software that you it's not free like you box but it's another alternative out there that works with the different file formats. Another option that a lot of people use is Prusa Slicer. So you can actually create the print files for this, but what you can use is that, uh, that slicer to actually generate all of your supports and hollow the files, then bring those into Cheetubox, and then actually just do the, the slicing. So maybe that's a little bit more of an easier workflow with dealing with this latest version that should hopefully crash less. Still doesn't solve my issue with all of my missing profiles, which really, again, just sucks, absolutely sucks, because I now have to go and try and look at old videos or posts or things that I've shared with people as to what some of my support settings were, um, and then just reload in the actual printer settings. It's just gonna be another you know few hours of reloading and calibrating the damn slicer just so I can print some files. <laughs> Uh, just super frustrated. Uh, I Again, I, I'm not a huge fan of these type of things, but I wanted to share this with you guys just to make you sure you're aware. I know I posted a lot of stuff on Cheetubox in the past, so please uh, just be cautious if you're going to download the 165 or the whatever the newest beta version is that you might run into a number of issues. And for now, I'm just going to stay on the 150. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned. I'm going to have some more videos here and upcoming, actually one coming up here either Wednesday or Thursday on some cool 3D design apps for your iPad. Stay tuned for that. Hey, thanks again for watching, you guys. See you next time.